out here. Who you got? Who you got? Let's go. All right, this is winner side, of course. You want to be able to win and stay in the winner side as long as you can. This will get you into the winner side finals. Let's see which one of these two players will come out on top. We got Ni nee and we got Chan and Y. Steve picked. Is that a surprising pick to you, or you think it's, no, it's we'll what see, expected? Uh, Ni's nee one of the best teams in the world. We'll see what his uh, mindset was. He's, he's a notorious counter picker, but you got to do what you got to do, right? So this could be, in his mind, one of the best picks against. Leo, or it may be for what he saw against Chan and White style. It's like, all right, he will be succumbing to these things. Nice combo there by Chan, taking it to the wall. What's Knee got? Oh, nice block there by Knee. That launcher is safe. You can't do too much against it. You got to eat it and wait, see what the mix might be afterwards. One Big of the pressure. things I love about Chan and Y, I feel like his style will complement fighting against Knee very well. He's not afraid to go Ooh. low. He's not afraid to go in and make those commitments. As you said, he's not afraid to go low. Low to end the round. Yeah. Anyways, going right into it. However, you know, if Nii needs to, if he needs to play defensive, needs to start ducking, needs to start opening up his opponent, he will. And no matter what character Nii's using, uh, no matter what character matchup I'm thinking about, it's still Nii. His spacing, his timing, his punishment is always amazing. Sends him into orbit. Oh, yeah. Gets the big launch here and the follow-up. He has the wall. Able to get some more pressure here. And then nice Chatted Y again, using the lows at the opportune time. He's doing really Very well nice. here. Oh, and the wall kills him. That two rounds damage. ahead. Oh my god, just like that, two round trade. And this is what we saw yesterday, too. Out of nowhere, Leo already at top. Great sidestep there from me, though, showing his knowledge of the character matchup. But sometimes that knowledge is not going to help if you're getting hit. It's interesting. I know Ni nee definitely knows how to play Leo very well. And uh, Naveed has, uh, Chan has previously been a Steve main as well. So they both know each other's characters very well, but their styles are what are going to conflict today. Nice hop kick. Clean, very clean. Oh, yeah, and you know, he has a high percentage of landing those hop kicks so far as well. Look at this pressure right by the wall. That's nice that. evade there on the down the forward, too. This is good. Chan and White in a L great sweep. position again. He might One do it again. Hit. Okay, gets a bit greedy, but still alive. Gets the wall splat there. Not a complete combo. And a get up. What did I tell you, Mark, man? What did I tell you? He was obviously ready. That was three rounds straight for Chan and White. This is a big statement here. But mm -hmm. another big statement going back is me going to character select. He is probably mm -hmm. going to pick the Feng Wei. I That's what I feel, at least. Feng doesn't really have many bad matchups, does he? No, he doesn't. Yeah, so it could work. But I think it's going to be... It's it's not even just oh, Steve can't handle it. It's, it's more so Nii's still trying to figure out what the timing is, what the spacing is for uh, Chan. And Chan is just not giving him that opportunity. And Nii's usually very good at making people chase so he can get the information. But a lot of these interactions, Chan is just able to get the better side of it. But we've seen Nii come back from crazy things before. And so this, this cannot be the worst he's dealt with. So I, I believe Nii will come up with something, but let's see if it's enough. Uh, he's waiting for the... Uh, set up to continue but that was so there was a lot of risks taken as well by chan but most of them worked out like you saw he he got a bit greedy with the hell sweep it got blocked but the angle stopped him from eating much damage as well so it still worked out for him well that's a great thing too is even though he got blocked he wasn't afraid to keep going mm. low as well he really wanted the kill and he was able to kind of seek it out and able to make it his own again three rounds straight that oh, is yes. not an easy feat here especially you know as defensively sounded as spacing um as, as like a master of spacing knee was able to like you know he, he got his stuff pushed in, man. That oh, was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Three rounds that, that was crazy. Well. crazy. No, no, yeah, but that was bad. That was crazy. Like, um, but the thing is, when you're knee, as I mentioned, like, all love to knee. All uh -huh. love is, is the GOAT. But when you're the GOAT, everyone's eyes are on you. Oh, of everyone course. sees what you're doing. Of everyone's course. studying you. I think he knows this yeah. well, too. Yeah. I think yeah. he knows you, this very that's well. That's why I think a lot of people don't appreciate sometimes when you're on top and you can stay on top, that is insanely hard. You find a lot of players, they start doing well for a while, and then they just can't maintain because everyone's studying you. Everyone's got their notepads out. Everyone's trying to figure out how to destroy you. The world's against you, really, at the end of the day. And you also can't take that personally because that also mentally affects you. So I mean, I would position, take it personally. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I can't believe these guys are getting better. Yo, I'm sorry, <laughs> D would come over here. What did you guys say about me? Want to throw? Yeah, it was you, man. You, you're doing oh, all the bad talk, man. Watch the VODs. Watch the uh, But yeah, it's it's crazy. So it's hard to stay on, be on top and stay on top. And for Nido have done that for, what, the better half of... Uh, a a nearly, few decades? Yeah, a decade and a half now, yeah. if not close to two decades. That's, yeah. what, Tekken 5 was really when he kicked off. Changed the meta with Brian as well. And, you know, we all, we all, we all miss him playing Brian. Let's be real. That's one of the things we miss. Are like, you trying to? Are you trying to insinuate you want to see Brian play like, right I'm now? I'm not going to complain, but I want to do what I think he should do. What's best for him? But I remember in uh, Evo Japan 2018 in the grand final against Chanel, he whipped out uh, Brian, and yeah. I was I was in Sagamo watching. Oh yeah, and I was screaming. <laughs> like, I was like, yes, <laughs> everyone Brian. was screaming. Yeah, that was fun times. All right, we're getting back into it. Oh, we got the Howard, got State. The Howard to State. Of course, had to be random select because of the character select switch. We're going to see how this goes right now. Chan and White up 1-0 again. This is winner side. 
Uh, and it's not it's not winner's final. So this is a two out of three, yep. a race to two. That's right. So he just needs one more game. So right now the pressure is on Yi. He is stuck with Fengwei mm -hmm. the entire time if he wants to advance on the winner's finals. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So we got, okay, now this stage, both of these characters, I think, benefit fairly well from these uh, wall breaks as well. Because their combos, like Leo's combos are very underrated. She's got a lot of conversion tools. She's got a lot of float tools yep. that help her keep going. But Feng, on the other hand, once he, they gave him his more recent tailspin buffs and other things like that, he, he can start going long distance as well. He's become a travel agent along with some <laughs> other characters. He is definitely a travel agent. But not just that. I mean, he has so many right. tools, oh, especially yeah. up close. I mean, even though definitely. the reverse capo did get uh, changed and adjusted quite a bit, it still makes just the presence of it being there just makes a big difference. Okay. We're seeing, a, we're seeing different, I'm seeing different movement here from Feng now, I mean, uh, from me with Feng, but very nice counter hit. Yeah, big counter hit, and that's something that we really didn't see in that opening game. But right now, Chan and Y still looking very good, has the life lead here in this first round, game number two. Oh, nice low parries. Yo, he is on some he's stuff ready, right now. He's ready, he's ready. He drank oh! some chai this morning, he's ready to go. Four rounds straight. That's crazy. Four rounds straight. You know, Leo definitely was one of those characters that was on a lot of people's radars around Season 2. Mm. However, kind of, kind of fallen off, and this is maybe one of the only Leo players that we've seen, especially in a top 8 in a Master event. Very nice. Goes to the back with the movement. They both got a form of back tempo there. All right, good patience here from both players. Nobody wants to overcommit. We're seeing a lot of safe highs, safe mids. No one's risking a low as I say that. Is he listening to us? I don't know. Big launch. Oh, his timing has been out of this world. Form. Flips him over. Looking for that wall pressure. This is exactly where Leo wants you. Nice parry. All right, Nii. Oh, tried for a health sweep. Oh, yeah, this is good for Nii. He needs that momentum back. One of Nii's first com full combos that he's actually getting, and he doesn't get it to the wall. Maybe he's a bit nervous at the moment. He's gonna have to oh, watch out here. Could Nii take this round? Pressure's well, on the side four, wing blow. But the evasive tactics here from Chan and what? Five rounds Ooh, straight. This is unprecedented. Set point. No way he would 6-0. No way. You never know. It's possible. Nii fighting, of course. Not, doesn't want to go down that easy. To launch him. Taking a bit more risk now. He definitely wants to close it out. I think Nii can smell it. Nii's going to be a bit more patient, wait for those risks to come out. But he doesn't have too much time. Nice pick off on the counter hit low. Taking it to the wall. What are we going to see for breakfast? Flips him over like a Krabby Patty. Gets the float. Oh, oh, what's happening? This is big. Went for the big hop kick. That was a huge risk here. They're about even on life, but oh, Nii has the some positioning by the wall. Goes into the box stance. Oh, Dashing in his face, looking for the grabs. But Nii. Kind of got chance near the wall. Went I can't believe he went for that hop kick. That was the crazy. Range on the high. One more big hit. It's all Chan needs, but Knee used his rage. They both used their rage. Oh. What did they go? Oh, that's Knee's round. Knee getting on the board. But a big headbutt there, able to get him. The slow motion activated. Knee on the scoreboard. Uh, the tempo's picking up. Puts yeah, a band aid on the bleeding, man. He needed that because, again, five rounds straight was crazy. Back to the wall. Oh, they're switching situations. Oh, yeah. He's trying to catch him moving now. Obviously, need doing slight movement Ooh. here and there, but a quick while standing three. three. That was crazy. Now he's going to get the wall as well into yes, the shoulder. Combo. Very nice. <gasps> Try to get a counter hit low. Okay, side step four. The Feng Nii, special. Knee is taking some big risk here. That was a big side step four deep into the oh, ball. Wanted to make sure it was clean, and here we go. Final round here of game number two. Knee has to get this game, otherwise it's going to be game over. Chan and Y still threatening to move on on the winner's side. Checking with those mids. Oh, went for the backswing blow. Nobody home for that one. Yeah. Plus frames on the high once again. Gets the housewing, not quite at the wall, but still good situation here for Chan. Knee moving, move, maneuvering his way around. Makes a pizza out of him. Oh yeah, big throw. Has Dashing. good position here still, and Knee very, very patient the way he's approaching the opponent. Again, using those plus frames. Knee does not dare to duck. He does not want to eat that mid and lose half of his health bar. We go, try to catch a moving. Looking for the homing moves. They're both, they're both trying to stop each other's movement. They're both doing a decent job, but these these moves are getting through. Oh, here yeah. and there. And look at his positioning here. Has to do the wall. Oh, duck. big shoulder. This is huge. Chan wide. He's a chance. Now. One more hit for Chan. And there it is. Chan and wide. Taking out me two games to zero. Uh, that was I'm, crazy. I'm agreeing the homie. The, the Yo, crowd. Let's